Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be here. It's been a long time. I haven't filmed a video for ages and today's video is going to be very exciting. I'm trying new makeup products that I've just received one two weeks ago. I'm giving you a hint here 80% of the products that I'm going to use to create this makeup look are going to be from by Thierry. If you're interested what brands also I have used please keep on watching and before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on instagram due to some technical problems the original audio from the video you are seeing is not working so i had to re-record a voiceover first i'm starting with the foundation that is 80 percent skincare is super lightweight and my skin definitely loves it this is a Bytery Hyaluronic Hydro Foundation with SPF 30. Its consistency is very running and liquidy and you must shake it very well before you use it. I'll do an experiment and apply half of my face with fingers and the other half with a makeup brush to see the difference between both sides. If you're a beauty sponge lover, you can also use it, but don't forget to slightly damp it. Otherwise, if you use it dry, you're going to waste so much product and we definitely don't want that. As I already mentioned, this foundation is 80% skincare, even the packaging looks like that. It has a pipette like a real skincare serum and it's very, very liquidy. I applied it at the back of my hand so I can take it from there and apply it on my face. This half is going to be applied with fingers. As you can see, it has a good coverage even from the first layer and the good thing is it's buildable so you can cover much more than that. I'm adding slightly more of the product to the areas where I have some acne marks so I can hide them better. The foundation has a very beautiful finish, it's not drying out your skin but it's also not staying too glowy on the skin. So if you have an oily acne prone skin as they do, it's going to be perfect for you. The other side I'm applying with a makeup brush. As you can see, the application is different from the one with the fingers as the brush absorbs some amount of the product and the coverage is not much even from the first layer. I personally like both ways of applying this foundation. If you prefer the brush, I would suggest you to use tapping motions instead of swiping in order to have more coverage. I really like this product, it gives you a very skin-like look and very velvety feeling like you have powdered your skin. I definitely recommend it if you are looking for a lightweight foundation with benefits. The next product is from the same brand, the Hyaluronic Hydro Concealer. It has a very interesting packaging, it has a brush from one side and a pump from the other side, so when you press it, the product comes out from the brush. It's super easy to use and that amount is more than enough to cover all imperfections. I usually use half a pump because as you can see, this amount is way much for me. I also like to apply it around the mouth and nose for a brightening effect. If I'm going for a more natural look, I spread the rest of the product with the fingers. This concealer is officially my most, most favorite one. It has the same structure like the foundation, is more than 80% skincare, it's super creamy and hydrating, and it's perfect for an everyday use. If you have deep dark circles, probably you're not gonna like it because it's very lightweight. And this is exactly what I love about this concealer. It's perfect for no makeup makeup look. The next product is the Brow Freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It has an applicator with a spoolie from one side and spatula from the other. Like that, it's easier to take a tiny bit from the product, you don't need much and place it on the cup and then take it with the spoolie from there and apply it to the eyebrows. The brow freeze is a clear wax, it's very similar to the brow soaps if you have used. As I mentioned, you need just a tiny bit and then place it on the inner side of the lid. Take it with the spoolie and apply it to the eyebrows like you brush them. This product should be used on bare skin, but depending on the product that you have used, it may work too. In this case, as you can see, it's working. 
It should hold the hairs of the eyebrow in the position you've placed them. I usually have a problem with all clear brow gels which are not strong enough for me. That's why I couldn't wait to try this new product from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I really really like it. You can see the difference, that product gives a certain look that is probably not everyone's cup of tea, but for some occasions it's perfect. That's a bit too much Wolverine look for me, so I'm going to slightly fix it in order to get some more natural look. And now it's time to fill the little gaps I have with my most favorite brow flick from Glossier. Eyebrows are ready, now it's time to use another two Biteri products. The first one is Cream Eyeshadow Ombre Black Star. I'm applying it on the eyelid as a base. This color is number 4 Bronze Moon. It has a very beautiful brownish goldish color. And then I'm spreading it with a brush. It gives you a very soft and warm base. The next new product for me is Diamond Bomb All Over from Fenty Beauty. This is in the color How Many Carrots. It's a highlighter for all over the face and body. So I'm going to apply it at the center of the eyelid for some extra shine. It's so gorgeous. I'm also applying it in the inner corner for brightening the eye. The next Bitery product is their Intensive Liquid Eyeliner. I'm applying it as looking straight in the mirror. And then perfecting it in the shape I want. Now it's time to powder the skin and the product that I'm going to use is going to be again from By Terry. This is Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. It is again a product that is more like a skincare. It could be applied on top of your moisturizer. Even nighttime, you can sleep with it without clogging your pores. I absolutely love the setting powder. I don't experience any irritations or breakouts after I use it. The contour and highlighter that I'm going to use will be Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I absolutely love the colors of this palette, it's very soft, the packaging is very convenient, you can even travel with it without any problems. I'm also applying on my forehead where the sun naturally kisses the skin and also slightly contouring the nose as I'm going for a very natural makeup look. Also don't forget the jawline if you're looking for more definition around that area. The blush that I'm going to use today is called Baked Blush from Kiko Milano and it's one of my most favorite blushes. I have it for many many years. I love to apply it with a smaller brush. This is actually a highlighter brush but I love the precision that it gives me. I love to apply the blush not on my cheek apples but on the cheekbone is set as it gives me a very lifted look. Don't forget to apply a bit on the nose bridge for some fresh and youthful look. And now the highlighter on the highest points of the face. I'm testing out this waterproof double extension mascara from L'Oreal. I'm a huge fan of the original version of this mascara, the red one. I find it very convenient and easy to have eyelashes base and a mascara in one packaging. It really gives a lot of volume and it's also very affordable. For the lips I'm going to use Gloss Bomb from Fenty Beauty and Lip Cheat Pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. I love to slightly overline the lips. And then applying the Gloss Bomb, I absolutely love this lip gloss. It gives a lot of volume to the lips, it's very comfortable and not sticky at all. And this is the final look, it's very simple. I don't feel wearing makeup at all at the moment. 
so I think my skin is loving it. If I need to choose two products from what I used, they will be the foundation and the concealer. Absolutely amazing. I cannot lie about the eyebrow product. Absolutely love it. The eyebrow look is a must for me even when I'm not wearing a proper makeup. So it's a winner. This one is a winner. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to support me by clicking the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and press the bell button for more content from me. See you soon.